What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another full face of first impressions because I have way too much makeup and I need to work my way through it, so. We're doing another one. So in today's video, I have also teamed up with Glossy Box for a little portion of their video to try out a few things in their new birthday box. It's their freaking birthday, so happy birthday, Glossy Box. Uh, spoiler alert, if you guys don't wanna see what's inside the birthday box, avert your eyes. If you don't wanna see how cute the freaking box is, also avert your eyes. It looks like a freaking birthday cake and I love it. Like, how cute is that? So yeah, this is the birthday box. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are already very, very familiar with Glossy Box, but if you're not, then Glossy Box is basically a monthly subscription service that includes a ton of beauty products. This box here is worth over 50 quid. Normally you pick these bad boys up for 10 pounds a month, which even still like 50 pounds worth of product, a tenner. It's pretty good going, but uh, I have a little discount code for you guys. And by little, I mean, it's it's a pretty hefty discount code. You get 30% off if you use the code STEPH30. I'll like put it on screen now and also down below. But yeah, that 30% off will get you this box for seven pounds. Seven pounds and just wait until you see what's inside. So inside you just have your little pieces of paper. So this one I believe tells you like what's inside, but I'm gonna do that so we don't need this. And then we also have this little card that tells you about the advent calendar, which is gonna be launched on Friday the 6th of September. That's actually pretty soon. How are we already in August? So yeah, that launches next month. And if you're a subscriber, then you get the advent calendar for 70 pounds. Obviously I know like 70 pounds can seem like a lot of money to you know spend on like an advent calendar, but like, yeah, it says the content is worth over 370 pounds and includes products like Chloe, Dermalogica, Tarte, NYX. I actually did a video on the advent calendar last year and there was a flipping Huda Beauty highlighter palette in there. Absolute madness. So yeah, if you guys did want to check that out, then obviously if you are a subscriber, you can get it for 70 quid. But enough of the boring stuff, let's get on to what is in the box. So this is what it looks like. I like all the little stringy bits. So the first thing that uh, caught my attention was only a freaking Huda Beauty lip strobe. I swear these cost like 15 pounds or something, maybe even more. Um, that's already worth like more than what you pay for the box. Yeah, these retail for 17 pounds and you can get a choice of like four different shades. Oh my God. Oh my God, that smells so good. I feel like I've tried out one of these before. Whoa. Oh my God, that like looks like a liquid highlighter almost. But yeah, I feel like I've tried one of these before, but it definitely wasn't like a kind of wearable color like this. So yeah, I'm gonna be giving that a go today. What else have we got? We also have the Beauty Pro Eye Therapy Under Eye Mask with collagen and green tea. This is a deluxe mini and it retails for, so this little mini here is £1.65. I might even put it on now because it says it takes like 20 minutes. I got some dark circles on the go right now. So let's, let's get this first impressions on a roll. I'm just gonna try it out right now. Oh my God, these smell really good. I'm just gonna take it off like that. Woohoo. And I'm gonna pop you under there. These things also work out gr Oh my God, it's like actually sticky. This actually like sticks to your face. It's not like one of those silicone-y kind of ones that like slide all around. Okay, now I'm gonna have to do the rest of this video with these things on my face. Didn't really think that through. So yeah, those, these in the box. And then we also have a Imperial Leather Foam Burst Ultimate Moisture Three Day Long Last, I'm just reading the entire label here. What are you? A whipped cream body wash. I mean, I'm not really gonna be able to try this out today, but I'll smell it. Oh. Oh, that smells so good. I got some on my lip. So then we have the Fur Rose Gold Lash Curler which I'm very excited about because literally all of my lash curlers are like dead. Like they they have seen better days. So I'm very excited for this. I actually haven't curled my lashes in quite a while because I don't have like a decent lash curler. So yeah, I might give that a go in a second as well. So then last but not least is another makeup product. This is from Bang Beauty, which is a brand I've actually not ever really heard of. This is a felt tip liner. Felt tip liners are like my favorite kind of liners. So I'm very curious about this. Oh, the packaging's nice. Looks very fancy. Let's see what the tip is like. Okay. Ooh, that looks very black and it, give it a minute. Just trying to see if it looks like it's gonna bleed or anything, but it looks pretty good. And how much is that? So that is £15.75. 
Apparently it's a waterproof and quick drying formula that will stay put all night long. Well, I guess I just have to put that to the test then, won't I, Glossy Box? So yeah, if you guys did want to pick up the birthday edition Glossy Box, like I said, I do have a 30% discount code, which is Steph30. That will turn this box from 10 pounds into seven pounds, which I think it's absolutely mental. Honestly though, like I know I have teamed up with Glossy Box for this part of the video, but I have literally loved their boxes for years and years. They always have such good stuff in there. There's no real commitment with them either. You can buy a box like as a one-off. You can buy it every like three months, six months, 12 months. And yeah, I don't know. I've just always liked Glossy Boxes. I feel like they're kind of like, like a little treat every month, you know? Yeah, so if you guys did want to check out Glossy Box, if you wanted to pick one up for yourself, if you want any details about like discount codes, whatever, I'll leave a link to everything down below, including like their social channels and stuff. So now I'm gonna peel these bad boys off my face. It's been about 15 minutes or so. I actually feel like that helped quite a bit, actually. I feel like that actually got rid of my dark circles a little bit. It makes me look a little bit more fresh. Okay, fair enough, I like that, but yeah. Happy birthday, Glossy Box. Thanks for wanting to work with me. Um, and now let's chuck loads of makeup on my face. Oh my God, I have a new headband. You're not ready for this one. By the way, I always get questions about where I get my headbands from. Generally, like literally like 95% of the time, it is Yes Style. Um, okay, look at this. Look at it, I love it. Oh yeah, that's what you want. All right, so first up for primer is something that I've had for a little while, but I've been kind of like eyeing up for a while as well. It is the Revolution Onyx Primer. It says it is blurring and mattifying, and it's like this black gel stuff. I've seen it like on Instagram. It's just, it's a bit weird. It's just like this black gel. So I'm gonna pop some of that on my face. So thankfully it does seem to disappear on the skin. It doesn't seem to have much of a smell either. I think my skin looks all right like that. I wouldn't say it's mattifying, Maybe it mattifies down after a little bit, but it actually kind of made my skin look even more glowy, which I'm down for, I actually kind of prefer that. Has it blurred my face? Uh, I wouldn't say it's overly blurring. In fact, I wouldn't say it's any of the things that it seems to say on the bottle. Um, I wouldn't say it's blurring and I wouldn't say it's mattifying. I'd say it's just kind of like nice and glowy and like dewy looking. I like it, I just wouldn't necessarily say it's like, that's a good description. So now for foundation, a lot of you guys have asked me to try this out. I have the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation in the shade four. This is what they sent over to me. Hopefully it'll work. It looks like it could work. Cool, very good. And if it doesn't, then I can blame Benefit because I didn't choose this color. I actually never tried the original Hello Happy Foundation. I'm gonna take like this much. Uh, I'm gonna pop that all over my skin. I don't even really look to see what this foundation is kind of supposed to do. I've got like a feeling it's supposed to be quite natural. Instantly adapt to brighten skin and any lighting. Um, 12 hour long wear, medium coverage. Okay, calm to mama. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this. I thought it was gonna be too natural for me, but this actually looks pretty good. It's maybe picking up on the tiniest little bit of texture around here where I do have a few little bumps on my chin. But yeah, I really like that. Like a lot, way more than I thought I was going to. So now for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Concealer. I have it in the shade 200 Light. I literally, oh my God, I literally just took the lid off and it suddenly just started squirting at me. Is that what she said? I'm not quite sure, but um, okay, I guess I'm just gonna put this on my face straight away, because otherwise it's just gonna dribble everywhere. Also, possibly what she said. Can you stop squirting at me, please? Oh God, okay. I'm putting a lot more on than I anticipated. It's just like a kind of squeezy tube that then has this little sponge at the end. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid back on there because uh, this guy's uncontrollable. So I'm gonna blend that in with my sponge, hoping this will give me some coverage. Come on, baby. Come on. I didn't really even get a chance to actually like read the claims. It says lightweight medium coverage. Okay, thank God. We are liking the medium coverage today. Blends out easily. It is very, very lightweight to be fair. It's like a really kind of like thin consistency. That's probably why it's like squirting everywhere. Oh my God, so many innuendos right now. This color is definitely too light for me if I want to cover up any spots. Like what? It's very pale on me. I have got a bit of a tan recently, but like, Whoa. It's very, very like, I want to say glowy, but like my heart's telling me to say glowy, but my head's like, nah, Steph, it's just shiny. It's not my favorite concealer. I mean, obviously I haven't set it down yet, but like, yeah, it's, it's not my favorite, but it is something that I will use for like 
if I'm going to the gym and if I'm looking shattered, I might shove a little bit of this under my eyes or if I'm going to the shops or something. It'll be kind of like a no makeup makeup sort of product. But yeah, I do think this would make like a nice kind of like everyday concealer. So now I'm gonna move on to a liquid highlighter. I feel like I haven't tried out a liquid highlighter in a while. You guys may remember in my last first impressions video, I tried out this guy, but in like the powder version. So this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow Highlighter. Um, this one's in the shade free. The last one that I tried was in the shade free, but obviously it was in powder form. I love that highlighter, so I'm very excited for this one. Oh, that is very wet. Again, innuendos, stop it. I'm gonna pop some of that on my cheek. This is a bit different than what I imagined. I was kind of expecting like an iconic London sort of situation. This just seems, I don't know, it just seems a little bit different. It seems like it'll be a little bit more subtle. I mean, it's hard to see because my base is so like, just wet right now. And it has actually picked up my foundation a little bit there. So I'm trying to kind of like blend it out. Um, just for now, I'm just gonna try it on my shoulder. And that sounds weird, but I just really wanna see like, how intense it is. Cause I feel like it's not that intense. Yeah, I feel like it's more of just like a soft focus kind of glow, which is fine. I was just kind of expecting something that's a little bit more like, pew. I think when we powder it down, we'll be able to kind of see like what it's doing. Cause right now it's all just kind of blending in. Speaking of which, I have a new powder to try out. I don't often have loose powders to try out. Cause I swear like, I swear I've tried the majority of them. Let me know if there's a powder that you like that I haven't tried or you don't think I've tried. Cause I always struggle to find like new loose powders. This one is from OPV. It's the loose setting powder in the shade. I think it's just translucent. Yep. Yeah says it right there on the front of the box. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes, just like I always do. That seems very white. Oh my God, that's really white. It's like super brightening for under the eyes, which is fine but when I've already got a concealer a little bit too light for me under my eyes. It's just like, pew. Okay, maybe that doesn't look as bad as I thought. I'm like trying to blend that out, but it's just, oh my God. Properly need to blend this out which is unusual for me because normally I literally just like very, very lightly set everything in place of powder. But this you need to like really make sure it's blended in. Otherwise it does just look white. It's like picking up those little like creases and like bits of texture. Yeah, I don't think I like that very much. I'm just gonna kind of like blend out whatever's left on my brush just to make sure I'm actually all set. But yeah, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. That's a shame. Next up is a face palette that I've had for I got it at my old house, so it must have been a few months ago. It is the Cheek Leader palette from Benefit. So inside, this has a few different bronzers, a few different blushes, and a highlighter. This highlighter, I've swatched it, it looks absolutely mental. Um, but yeah, I thought I would do a little first impressions on this because, I mean, I have tried out Hoola, I have tried out Gold Rush, um, but I, I don't think I've tried out Coralista. So I'm gonna try out Coralista, and then I'm gonna try the cookie highlighter, which I'm really freaking excited to put on my face. And then the Hula Caramel, which is like one of the new Hula colors. So first of all, I'm just gonna go in with the regular Hula just to do a little bit of contouring, just cause I love Hula for that. So now I'm gonna take the Hula Caramel, which is like a slightly warmer, slightly deeper color. And I'm gonna sweep that on my cheeks to really bronze me up. Okay, that is really bronzy. Whoa. Is that too dark for me? Oh my God, what have I done? So I'm just gonna blot that down and pretend that I know how to do makeup. Cause right now I don't think I do. Okay, that's better. Whew, I was like, whoa, like am I gonna need to start again here? This side does look a little bit bonkers, but I feel like I'm just gonna have to roll with it. Yeah, so the Hula Caramel is incredibly pigmented. Like literally in between each like tap, I'm tapping it off on my hand. Okay, that was a little bit unexpected. Um, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if it's necessarily the color for me. I like the original Hula a lot. I'll try it again in the future. And I don't know, maybe you guys, like, I, I love the color. I really, really like the color. I just feel like it's maybe a little bit too intense for me. So who knows? So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Coralista, even though I'm a little bit scared to add even more color onto my face, but I'm doing it anyway. I feel like this will be a, just a touch more natural. I mean, that, that's fine. It's quite natural looking. So, I mean, it's not, it doesn't really look like much. All I can see is my very brown face. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It's super natural. So you really can't see it, especially in comparison to like 
this muddy stripe on my face. Oh God, I really just wanna get rid of that. What have I done? All right, so come on, surely this will save the day. So now I'm gonna go in with cookie. Let me just swatch a few guys actually. I'm gonna do one swipe and that is what we're dealing with. Like, boom, look at that. I don't know why I swatched it like that. Why did I do that? Let me swatch it like that. Look, madness. So yeah, hopefully that'll kind of like save the day a little bit. Cause right now my cheeks are just looking um, just not incredible. But this is, holy mother of God. Have Benefit brought this out as like a standalone product? Because if they haven't, then Benefit, what the hell are you doing? I mean, whoa. That's actually almost like too intense for me. Cupid's very like proper milk mustache. Like I'm talking like full fat milk, not like semi skim, not green top, not red top. I'm talking like full fat. That's, <laughs> that's a lot. I'm basically just trying to cover up my insanely brown cheeks with highlighter and hope that no one notices. That is literally like one of the most intense highlighters I have come across in a while. Okay, so um, I mean, there was slight, slightly questionable about this guy here, um, but I would buy this palette all over again just for that highlighter. So that shows you guys how much I like it. Benefit if you, like I said, if you don't do that as a single, like what are you doing? Please, please do because that, that is mad. So now I'm gonna add even more glow, because why the hell not? I'm gonna use the Technic Magic Mist. This is the Illuminating Setting Spray in the shade, excuse me, in the shade, I don't know, 24 karat gold. So this is just one of those sprays that has like the pigment in it that when you shake it up, it looks like this. Let's give it a spray. Okay, it's not like the, okay, it's getting better. I was gonna say it's not like the best spray in the world. I'm always wary of these things now because I once had one that literally just like made me gold. Just like fully like the Tin Man. So um, yeah, I get a little bit scared of these sometimes. Scared, but still willing to throw it all over my face. Oh, it smells good. It kind of smells like rose water or something. That looks nice. There are a few little teeny tiny droplets. Like I think if I literally just go boink, 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 then they're gone. On camera, I do look a little bit kind of like oily, but in person, I just look like, it looks kind of like healthy, so I'm not really sure. Um, it's so maybe not necessarily the best thing for photos, but in person, it looks good. So now I think I'm gonna fill in my brows. So for that, I have the Urban Decay Brow Endowed Brow Volumizer. It says it's a primer and color. Wait, what? Primer and color, huh? Are eyebrow primers a thing now? Oh, it's like, it's like um like lash primer. Okay, interesting. Okay, this could be fun. <laughs> well, howdy. I guess this is how I'm supposed to use it. I haven't really looked at the instructions, but I'm just gonna assume here. This looks nice. I might just leave it like this. I've just gone ahead and like put this on. I'm kind of thinking to myself, like, actually, will this like just look like a mess? Because my brows are already quite full and stuff. Like, so is this gonna just make them look insane? Oh, the primer's like sticky, but in like a good way. Oh, for a second then, I, I'm just making like a lot of noises. I'm going, oh, oh, huh. Like for a second, I was thinking, oh crap, what have I done? But this is giving me some like fierce ass feathery brows. Yeah, this is literally giving me like Wolverine brows and I'm kind of loving it. I mean, as it kind of dries, it does get a little bit tricky to move. Like I have fully screwed up that brow there, but whoa, this, I was not expecting it to do that. I don't know what I was expecting it to do, but that's, but that's giving me like, yeah, like proper Wolverine brows. So now I'm just gonna fill in a few little sparse areas using the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I have mine, I think it's in the shade Brunette. Right, so what are you looking like? Good color. Oh, it's quite pomade-y. The, the, my brows are fully stuck down. There is no moving these. Like now that they're there, they are there for good. I'd probably say it would've been better off if I filled in my brows first and then did that because this is proving to be a little bit of an issue. Kind of obsessed with it though. Kind of obsessed with like the bushy brow look. Next, we move on to eyes. So for that, I have this palette from Revolution. I have a few requests to try this out and I'm really excited to try this out to be fair. It is the Revolution Maxi Reloaded Palette and it is the Monster Mattes. Looks like this. It's quite big so I can't really like fit it in frame without getting rid of my face. Let's have a few little swatches. I don't know what kind of look. Maybe I'll do my yellow eye look now. 
oh my god, I've been dying to do a yellow eye look, and it just dawned on me that there are a fair few like yellowy colours here. I might do it. Oh my god, I hope these yellows are good. It look, it looks a little bit chalky. I'm not gonna lie, but fingers. That's very. That's really chalky. But the colour looks okay. It's it's quite a decent colour. Like it's quite for a yellow. It's quite intense. It does just look very very chalky. Let's try some other colours. Let's try. Let's do like. Let's do this red. Let's do this blue. Okay, they look better. And let's do this like greeny kind of colour here. They do look chalky. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and. That one looks nice. That looks really good, actually. Um, yeah, they, they do just look a bit chalky. Like, that one looks very chalky. But that one looks okay. So maybe it, like, depends on the colour. So I think I'm going to need some sort of wet eye base. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that concealer. I never set it before, but I imagine it's probably, like, set a bit now. I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. And then I'm going to take... I think I'm just going to go... Straight in with this colour here. I don't think they have, yeah, they don't have like shade names or anything. They've just got numbers. So there's a fair amount of kickback, but it is a super cheap palette. I think that's like £12 or something. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to stamp that around my crease at first. Okay, hello, colour payoff. It is something that I think if you were to use this on top of like a powder, it wouldn't look that great. Um, but on a wet base, it does just really kind of like bring the colour out a lot more. So now I'm going to take this colour up here, I think, just on a flat brush. Whoa. So again, it does look quite chalky, but again, I feel like it might work with a wet base. So I'm just patting that like on the inner corner and on the centre of my lid. Uh, no. I mean, not no, but like a kind of like... The other yellow is a lot better. This one is a lot more sheer. And even with tapping, it does like, just doesn't really like want to sit on the lid properly. Yeah, it's almost like because I've put one color in my crease, it's kind of like set my base down a little bit. And then anything else I'm kind of putting on top just doesn't really seem to want to like sit properly on it. But I do really like that yellow on its own though. Like that yellow on its own, I'm seriously into. Maybe I'll take this kind of like, very, very parsley yellow here. And I'll just try and lighten up the inner corner a little bit. Yeah, like it just doesn't really seem to want to show up at all. You can see it a little bit more there, but if you want any kind of like serious colour payoff, it's not great. I like that first yellow shade, the one I've pretty much got like all over my eye. I do like that. I do really think though that you need to have like a properly wet base to make these work. Because otherwise they are just a little bit too powdery and just kind of like chalky looking and they don't really sit on the skin or blend. I'm gonna take a bit more of that first yellow that I used and smoke that out on my lower lash line. I mean, like, it's 12 quid and there's a lot of shades in there. It's not bad, I can't knock it for 12 pounds. Um, ooh, I don't know. I can't recommend it because obviously I'm not having like the best experience with it, but it's all right for 12 quid, it works. You can get some colour payoff, you just need to kind of like make sure that you use it in the right way with a wet base. Uh, wouldn't rush out to buy it, but I mean, there's a lot of shades and it's like £12, so. All right, you know what's coming. Be right back, gonna sort out the other eye and then we'll do like mascara, lips, lashes, whatever else. Ah uh, yeah, so now we're gonna be on to mascara. Again, something I've wanted to try out for a really, really long time that I've had for a really long time. I've just never whacked it out for a video. It is the Milk Kush Mascara. I've heard a lot of good things about this. So this, I believe, contains like CBD or something, or hemp or something. It smells good. It smells really good. Oh, I meant to put liner on, didn't I? I? Meant to try that liner. I'll try it out on the other eye in a second without mascara, but right now I'm, I'm in the zone with this. And obviously I went and got mascara on my lid, like I always do. That is very, very good. I am liking that a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I forgot to use the bloody lash curler as well, didn't I? Right, I'm gonna do it on the other eye and then we can kind of compare. See, let's pretend I actually meant to do this. So now, I'm such an unorganized mess. I'm gonna go in with liner. I'm gonna like, try and do it on this eye and yeah, just, just see what I can do basically. So this was the Bang Beauty liner. I don't wanna do anything like, too crazy. Oh my God, I feel like I haven't done liner in so long. 
I don't want to do like a full on crazy flick because then I feel like I'll just start looking a little bit mental. Oh, I like that little, the way that felt tip just like went along my eyelid there and I really thoroughly enjoyed that actually. Very nice. That's a nice liner. Okay, now I'm gonna have to try and tackle this eye. Help. I feel like I look like a bumblebee right now. Aw, oh, Beavis. But despite my shoddy attempt at doing liner for the first time in like months, I really like the liner. The liner is very, very good. My skills right now, not so much, but the liner is really nice. It's black, it's liquidy, but not like too liquidy that it's like hard to control. So now I'm gonna take my eyelash curlers and again, I haven't done this in a while. I'm gonna curl my lashes and we'll kind of like compare how the mascara looks on both, see? Always works out in the end. Might not have planned it, but that's fine. And I'm gonna take my Kush mascara. Okay, that, well, okay, my lashes have really curled there. I mean, the mascara looks good on both sides, but it looks so much better on this side. That's actually made such a difference. All right, sort out my line a little bit, even myself up. We ended up going from like baby wing to like, this is like an adult wing now. It's grown up into a big boy. So now I'm gonna be using my good friend Jack's lash brand, Tiggy Lashes. I've tried Tiggy Lash before, but I haven't tried these ones. So I'm gonna give these a go. These are in the style Catherine, I think. They look like they'll be very nice. Maybe not like that, but they look like they'll be good. Okay, be right back. I'm gonna give these a snip, pop them on my eyes, and then I'll show you guys how they look. Okay, um, I just messaged Jack. I just sent him a really weird like voice note thing. I love these lashes. I'm literally gonna put in like a little special order with Jack himself and just like try and bulk buy a load because these are like, I think these might be some of my new favorite lashes. I mean, obviously I liked how these lashes look to begin with. That's why I chose to like put them on my face. When you cut off the end bit and you turn them into little like feathery winged out lashes. Oh my God, they are insane. Like I'm, so obsessed with these. You guys, I got my nipples pierced the other day and they're, they're healing, they're really itchy. All right, now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my headband off from it actually, because I feel like I, I feel like I'm just looking a little bit weird. So now for lips, I have an Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick. I've tried Ofra in the past, but it has been a hot minute and I don't know if they've changed their formulation or anything. I know they've changed their packaging, but I wanted to give this one a go. So this one here is in the shade Sao Paulo. Whoa, that's actually a lot more nude than I thought it was gonna be. Ah! Maybe if I had a little bit of like a darker liner around there, that might work better. I really like the color, but I definitely feel like I need a darker liner. That'll do. This one is from LA Girl and it's in the color Cafe. Okay, this lip liner sucks. That lip liner's bollocks. Like it applies like this absolutely fine, but then as soon as it comes to actually like applying it on your lips, it's the wrong way, it just doesn't do the job. Yeah, the brow pencil actually works better as a lip liner. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try out the Huda Beauty lip strobe. So this one, like I said, is in the shade Angelic. I don't know how this is gonna look with this lip to be honest, but I'm gonna give it a go. Whoa, this is a lot more wearable than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like super metallic and like just not overly wearable. I don't really quite like that. Again, I don't think it necessarily works with this lip, with this eye. Yeah, be right back. I'm gonna go sort out my lips and then then we'll reassess. All right guys, so this is a finished look. Obviously just sorted my lips out a little bit. I'm gonna apply a little bit more of the Huda Beauty lip strobe because obviously I have since changed my lips. I just wanna see how it'll look on like a slightly darker lip. I'm not gonna put it like fully over the top. Like you can see it's like properly metallic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it's so nice. I actually didn't think I would like find this to be that wearable, but I really, really like how this looks. So yeah guys, this is a finished look. I'm absolutely obsessed. I love, I love the yellow eye look. It's actually really, really late right now. It's like nine o'clock in the evening. So I'm actually gonna take this makeup off pretty much straight away. So I'm not gonna be doing any kind of check-ins, but I will be wearing this foundation and everything again over the next few days. So I will let you guys know in the comments how like it wears and everything. Also, I feel like this look would look really, really good with my brown eyes. So I'm gonna insert a little cutaway here of what that would look like just because sometimes I know you guys are curious. Once again, don't forget if you guys, I did want to pick up your own little glossy box and I do have a discount code that gets you 30% off making these boxes seven pounds, which is absolutely insane because they are worth over 50. So if you did want to pick one up for yourself, link is down below. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.